What's up guys and welcome back to another video. It is predictions time for Wales taking on Australia in their Rugby World Cup pool match and what should be, it is, not should be, it is the game of the weekend. I have been excited for this one for a while because um, a lot is in store for both teams. Both teams needing to pick up that all-important victory in order to progress to the final stage of the Rugby World Cup. It's a big game for Australia because obviously there's been a lot of talk. Are they in form? They haven't been in the greatest of form. Can they bounce back? There's been a lot of talk and moaning about Fiji and Michael Cech has been in the news and all that jazz. So they're going to be wanting to forget all the negative media, focus on the positive and go in against Wales with the strong focus, strong motivation, absolute important game plan and take on Wales to the best of their ability. As for Wales, they were on an amazing streak before the whole warm-up session started. 14 match winning streak, they were on fire. They managed to get number one, but unfortunately lost that position. But at the end of the day, they still got number one. And for that, we need to give them credit. 14 match winning streak. For that, we need to give them credit. They are a threat in this World Cup. Whether you like them, whether you don't, you've got to acknowledge what they've achieved in the Rugby World Cup. And um, they're a definite threat to anyone who's playing against them. They've achieved greatness. Um, I've got a lot of respect for their coach in uh, Warren Gatlin and I believe he's got a few tricks up, this, up his sleeve in order to make it a little bit of a nightmare for Australia in this big encounter coming up this weekend. Um, a lot is in store, pretty much the winner goes top of the log um, and will therefore have the chance to go to the quarterfinals and that all important semi-final where they could potentially meet, the top of the log could meet South Africa or Ireland at this stage. So it's going to be a very interesting Rugby World Cup in terms of them in the quarterfinals. Wales would definitely be wanting to prove their critics wrong because there are people out there who just don't see Wales getting um, that far in the tournament. But for me, personally, I think they're a great nation and have done a lot in the tournament or in the build-up to the tournament and therefore are definite threat to um, world rugby and the the teams participating in the Rugby World Cup. It's not going to be an easy battle for Australia, no ways in hell. It's going to be a tough battle, but Australia have a great team with them. They have a system in place, so therefore they don't quite have the excuses going into it. I think Australia's got a great team on paper. It's just they need to gel and put every game plan that they have on to the field and perform in the right results. As for Wales, they've also got a great, great squad within them. I mean, Jonathan Davies, let's go at centre, one of the world's best centres in world rugby. You've got Gareth Davies, experienced in the scrum off section. Now, don't forget, Will Guinea is going to be alongside him. We all know his experience too. Big talks about Bernard Foley joining Australia. Um, I think a lot of people thought maybe Leo Fano would have joined in. But he's been chosen and we've known his kicking has been quite weak recently. So that's going to be key for um, Australia going forward. They're going to need to be able to have that kicking game on point because that could win or lose the game. Depending on the weather tomorrow, it could be hot as hell or it could be wet. Um, either way, Australia need to make sure they can capitalise on the points at hand that come into this game. We've got James O'Connor there who's going along Jonathan Davies in the number 13 jersey. James O'Connor has really made one hell of a great turnaround in his career and I'm looking forward to seeing him play um, in this game tomorrow or on Sunday. Um, it should be a pretty intense contest but at least you know James O'Connor ha has got a boot on him and he can really perform um, in the game. Obviously, Australia are missing one of the key players due to that um, sanction with, with the Fijian. So, he's definitely going to be missed there. But um, they'll have systems in place in order to regroup, refocus on how to take on this all-important games uh, for, for Wales. Um, Justin Tibrurik, if I got that right, is going to be battling alongside Michael Hooper, who should be, who's an insane player alone. We all know what he's achieved for Australia. Um, so I'm excited to see that battle. Josh Navadi, also um, a good player for Wales. So he'll be uh, interesting to look out for. But um, the key for Wales is obviously um, Jones, Captain Jones. Um, I think he's remarkable. He's achieved so much in his career. He's going to be probably one of the most capped players 
um, as well for Wales. So he's got a lot in store for him this weekend. A lot of respect for him. He's taken Wales to a lot of achievements, and I think he's going to want to do the same going into this game. Ken Owens uh, versus Tolatu is going to be a lovely battle to watch. I'm looking forward to that. But I'm also excited to see David Pocock back on the field. Obviously, he's played in the World Cup. But, I mean, he is a true ambassador for Australian rugby and has produced some amazing results for them. If we look at the history of these past two teams and how they've battled out, last year, 10th of November 2018, Wales won by three points, 9-6 in uh, 2018 Autumn Internationals. Therefore, before that, Australia has pretty much dominated the the. The, the win rate shows and um, we pretty much have seen the last time Wales beat Australia was in 2008 also in Autumn International um, and then it's again 2005 so Australia have had the win ratio over Wales for quite some time so they're definitely going to go in as the favourites because of the history however when we look at the past results of what Australia have achieved and what Wales have achieved times changed a bit because Wales have done so much in their, in their build-up to the Rugby World Cup. So Grand Slam Six Nations champions, that's definitely going to motivate them going into this. They were number one in the world for the very first time this year. Um, they've achieved a 14-match winning streak, which ended this year. So they've had a really great build-up to this Rugby World Cup. And that is going to be a great motivation for Warren Gatlin Jones and his team um, as they progress forward. Obviously, the big news of the assistant coach going... But um, I think they've pretty much forgotten about that and now focusing on the big stuff. As for Australia, they had a fair enough um, rugby championship. wasn't the strongest, but they're going to definitely be motivated in order to achieve more um, and to, again, like I said at the start of this video, prove the critics wrong. As for predictions going into this game, I think it's going to be one hell of a tough game. First, first half is going to be back and forth. I'm hoping to see lots of tries and not so much kicking. Um, as for what could cost Australia, and that's my one concern, is goal kicking. I think that's going to be one of the weakest points for them. Um, Wales have also been on and off with kicking recently, but it's definitely um, a, a, an important part, depending on how the weather plays. Second half, I think um, Australia might come in strong and forward, but I do feel Wales would just edge it at the end. It's going to be a pretty much, I'd say, seven or less point scoring game uh, between the two, but I think Wales will definitely just come out on top for this game. It's going to be an awesome battle. I will be live streaming it, so make sure you tune in for that during the game. I'm looking forward to the stream with you guys. It should be awesome. But it's a game of the weekend and I think it's going to, we're either going to see a surprise or we're just going to see some a quality rugby from two teams um, where it's just going to be a close up and the winner will take it all in at the end. Who do you think is going to win? Let me know in the comment section down below. That's going to do it for today's predictions video. Obviously, I will recap it on Sunday um, afternoon for you guys. So make sure you subscribe and join the channel for all that so much more rugby content to come rugby world cup is here i'm living the dream we're growing and it's so much fun thanks so much for watching it if you enjoyed it give it a thumbs up subscribe if you are new and uh, turn on the bell notification so you're always notified for future uploads thanks so much for watching guys stay safe and never give up cheers